Lately, I've been thinking a lot about backup power. There's a lot of things that can disrupt our power, uh, whether you live in a van like I do or you have a house. Uh, there are a number of things that can interrupt that power supply that we are used to. So I think what everybody needs is a good source of not only backup power, but also a good source of portable backup power. So with that in mind, this is what I've been testing for the last week or so. This is a 250 watt portable battery. And just a word before I get started talking about this, uh, this is not a sponsored video, but the company did send me this unit to review for this video. Now I've been impressed with how well this battery has been working, and I'll give you some of my impressions on that later, but first let me just walk you through what comes in the box and some of the features that the battery has. So of course the battery comes with a user's manual, which is really well written and tells you everything that you would need to know about how to use the battery and its operation. Although to be honest, uh, this battery is so user friendly, I'm not really sure why you would need this user's manual. And that's because this battery is incredibly user friendly. It has one button to turn it on and off. So you just hold this button down for three seconds and the unit will turn on. So once the unit is powered up, we've got several ports to be able to access the power. Uh, on this side of the battery, we have a 250 watt power inverter. This is a pure sine wave power inverter. Uh, right above that is a light. This is a flashlight that has a uh, high and low function and also it has two strobe functions as well. I always thought that having a flashlight would be a gimmick, uh, but actually using this now, I realize this is a handy feature to have. Uh, there's a battery here, why not have a flashlight on it? I've just always thought it was a gimmick until I've actually used it and I've actually found the flashlight to be quite helpful. And then back here on the other side of the battery pack, we have a 5.5 millimeter DC port to access the power as well as two USB 3 ports. And my favorite port on this, which is a USB-C port. Now, this is my favorite port to use because it provides good fast power, uh, quite a bit faster than the standard USB ports. Uh, and I don't need to plug in a power brick like I would to use the pure sine wave inverter on the other side. I just need just one cord that plugs in here and goes to my phone or to my iPad. And that gives me good, fast, clean power. Uh, that's the feature that I really like out of this unit the best. Uh, is this this USB-C port I think is important. Uh, if you're looking at a portable battery box like this, that is the one thing that I say you should look for. If it doesn't have a USB-C port, just pass it on up. Uh, USB-C is a little bit more future-proof. And so even if you don't have a device that uses USB-C now, it's very likely that you will in the future. And when it comes time to recharge the battery, uh, included in the box is a power brick that would plug into a standard wall outlet, uh, as well as a 12 volt plug that would enable you to charge the battery while you're driving in your vehicle, which is very handy. They've also included an adapter with uh, MC4 connectors. Now these connectors are the standard connectors for solar panels. So if you already own a solar panel that has an MC4 uh, connection to it, uh, you can simply recharge the battery with your solar panel already. This also lets you use just any solar panel. You don't have to buy a specific solar panel to charge this up. And that's the way I've been charging uh, this battery uh, as I've been charging it off of the solar panel that I already own. Well, I have been really impressed with the amount of power that this battery pack has. Uh, even though it has a small size, it does have a lot of power. I was actually able to keep my iPad and my phone charged for three days, and that's pretty impressive because my iPad is really power hungry. Uh, when I'm editing videos. I was actually able to edit four videos over those three days, and I still had power left on the fourth day after doing the test. So it's an impressive amount of power, especially considering the size of the battery. 
So I'm impressed with this battery pack. It gives me really great fast power, especially because of this USB-C port. I went into this thinking that this would be a great bit of backup power, but I'm finding that I actually really like this just as a daily power option. Uh, because of that fast power from the USB-C ports, I'm able to charge my devices much faster than I have been able to charge them in the past. And also, because this is so easy to carry around and it's so small, I've got power that I can take with me uh, out to a beach or out to a mountain somewhere. I can put this in my backpack or I can simply just pick it up and carry it uh, wherever I need to go. So I've been really happy with this battery pack and I think that you would be too. If you're interested uh, in this battery pack, uh, there is a link in the description below. You can check it out. I know I didn't go into all the jargon of technical specs and all that. I find that that uh, is confusing for a lot of people. So if you are looking for all that technical stuff, you can just go to the link and check it out. And for everybody else, I found that this has plenty of power for me, at least three days worth of power for uh, my devices. And so as far as I'm concerned, that's uh, a very good amount of power, especially considering the size of this unit. So like I said, if you're interested, check out the link. Uh, I don't have any real affiliation with the company. Uh, I just was testing this out because I thought it would be a good option for uh, a lot of us. So if you're interested in it, uh, check out the links below. And uh, for everybody else, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.